What is soil? Soil, we plant things in it, get it stuck underneath our fingernails, and let's admit it, some of us have even eaten it. But did you know that soil contains tiny pieces of dead plants and animals? Or that it can take a thousand years for just two or three centimeters of soil to form? Let's dig deeper to find out more. Firstly, almost every living thing on earth depends on dirt and soil from the plants that grow in it, to the animals that eat the plants, and to the animals that eat the animals that eat the plants. Soil is made up of four things. Firstly, there are minerals such as sand, rock and clay. Secondly, there is lots of water. Soil does a great job in holding water, so the life and animals around it can survive. Thirdly, there are lots of air holes within the soil. All life needs air to survive. And these pockets of air within the soil help life such as worms, insects and mice to breathe. Fourthly, there is organic matter. This includes everything that is alive, such as worms and insects, but also plants and even bacteria. Organic matter also includes things that used to be alive, such as dead plants and animals. These dead plants and animals are broken down by living animals and bacteria. This process provides nutrients that are then put back into the soil. Plants then use these nutrients to grow. So soil is where plants get their food. Scientists call this nutrient-rich soil humus. Humus is what gives soil its browny colour and distinctive smell. Hmm. So the minerals, water, air and organic matter, all mixed together, make soil. However, soil is not always the same. Scientists have found that there are many layers to soil. We find soil in layers called horizons. First is a layer of organic matter, such as fallen leaves and manure. Compost is a great example of this. Next is topsoil, the kind of soil that gets your trainers muddy. This is where most plants and organisms live. Beneath this is subsoil, which is a combination of clay, iron and more organic matter. Each of these top three layers also contains tiny particles of rocks and materials. But where did these rock particles come from? Enter bedrock. Bedrock is the top layer of the Earth's crust. It is made of rocks such as granite, limestone, sandstone and basalt. Over time, the rocks begin to break apart. The broken rocks form a layer of soil called parent material. The rocks in the top three layers of soil were all once part of this parent material. Finally, have you ever wondered why volcanic soil is so full of nutrients? Well, that's because of all the many dead plants and animals it contains. When an eruption engulfs living things, their chemicals and minerals remain trapped until the rocks break up enough to become soil. Then the nutrients are used by new plants and organisms. It's the circle of life, my friends. Or perhaps, I should say, the ring of fire. <laughs>